Welcome to episode 5 of Rookie Designer Video Tips. My name is Jake Van Ness. In today's episode, we're going to work with the Displace filter in Photoshop. What I'm going to show you is how you can take an Illustrator vector logo and place it on top of a golf ball photo to make a really creative proof to show your customer. So let's get started. First, we're going to open up a photo of a golf ball. Next, what we need to do is create a grayscale image of this photo so that we can use that as the displacement map. So that we don't work with the original image, I'm going to duplicate the image first. And to do that, we go to Image, Duplicate, and we're going to rename this image so that it's different than the original. Hit OK. So now we have a duplicate of that image. And now we need to go to Image mode, grayscale, and discard the color. I realize there's better ways to make grayscale images, but this is the simple way to do it for this tutorial. Now that we have that as grayscale, we need to go to File, Save As, and save that as a PSD. Once we have that saved, we can go back to our original golf ball. And what we need to do now is we need to paste in our vector logo. So I'm going to go into Illustrator, open up my vector logo, do a select all, control A or command A on a Mac, copy, control C or command C on a Mac, and go back to Photoshop. And we're going to paste, which is control V or a command V on a Mac. This will ask me how I want to paste it, and I want to paste it as a smart object. The reason you want to paste it as a smart object is what it allows you to do is make any edits to that logo in Illustrator and easily update it in the Photoshop doc. So now that we have it pasted, we're going to resize it to make it fit the golf ball, position it, and double click to apply. As you can see, this is currently sitting on top of the golf ball, not really showing the curves or anything. To change that, we want to change this to multiply. So now you can see the highlights and the shadows through the vector image. While that does look good, the, the key with the displacement map is that it distorts it just a little bit to make it look more realistic. So to apply that, we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. It'll ask you how much you want to displace it, and with this tutorial I've done 10 and 10. Hit OK, and now it'll ask you to find your displacement map and apply it. And as you can see, it just distorts it a tiny bit so that it looks more realistic. And again, you can see this by turning it off and on. And you can see it just a tiny bit, it distorts it. So there you go. You have your vector logo on top of a golf ball photo. And if you save this and send it to your customer, they can really get an idea of how their logo would look on that golf ball. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you next time.